Hey everyone, I am back, finally. First video back um, since a good three weeks ago. It has been a while. I hope you've all been keeping well. I have been trying to interact with you guys and trying to kind of keep you guys updated when I was going to be back. Unfortunately, a couple of weeks ago, we did lose Snowball and Snowball is no longer with us. I haven't updated the cage. I haven't got any other animals. I haven't changed anything about my life apart from Snowball um, passing away. So. Yeah, apart from that, everything else is now fine, everything is going smoothly, and yeah, life's actually quite good. Also, I am recording this a day before my birthday, so it is my birthday tomorrow, so when this video goes up, it will be Monday, so that will be two days after my birthday. I do want to apologise if I look very, very sweaty and very hot and red-faced. I did get sunburned yesterday, and it has been very, very clammy. And just very very hot and humid in Scotland these past few days and it is becoming a bit unbearable if I'm being honest. I think I definitely prefer the rain and snow. So since this is me just back and I haven't been recording for a good few weeks it has been over a month and a half since I last recorded a video. This feels weird again talking to a camera but I know that I'm genuinely talking to you guys so I'm just gonna try and get out of that mind frame and just get on with this video. So today we are going to be talking about scatter feeding or bull feeding and this is something that most owners question, should I scatter feed my food for my hamster or should I bull feed my food for my hamster? Scatter feeding and bull feeding is just another topic that is highly usually debated in the pet community and usually there are a lot of voices to be heard on this discussion when dealing with hamsters. So that always ends up leaving the pet owner that is doing the research with the question, well what should I do? Should I scatter feed or bull feed my hamsters? So for those of you who don't know what scatter feeding is, scatter feeding is when you take your hamster's food and you scatter it across the cage or you place it in specific areas of the cage for your hamster to forage for. And just to clear it up, bull feeding is when you place your hamster's food inside a bowl or a dish and then your hamster will eat their food from there. So what is the difference between both of them? Most owners will actually bull feed their hamster and you watching this is probably bull feeding your hamster right now. Bull feeding is usually considered the better option for hamster owners as you can keep an eye on your hamster's food and their bowl and see if they're actually eating what they're eating and if they're leaving any important parts of their meal out. You can also keep an eye on their eating habits and see if their eating habits have changed at all. So this will give you an indication to their health and stuff like that so you'll be able to keep an eye on their food and see if they're eating enough and see if they're eating the right things and it will also give you an idea of your hamster's health as well. But with bowl feeding your hamster there is downfalls and this downfall is usually the fact that they don't get to forage for their food what they would normally do in the wild they would normally forage for their food and go search for their food and then store it for later and with bull feeding your hamster they have a constant supply of food there so this means that your hamster doesn't need to forage they don't need to do their natural instincts and it can cause a lot of boredom in hamsters as well because they can't go forage for food bull feeding can also cause your hamster to stockpile their food so what i mean by this is your hamster will go to their food bowl and they will empty their food bowl like i mean take every single bit of their food and take it back to their house with them and you will then think that your hamsters ate all that food so they need more and you just keep giving them food and giving them food and they take all that food and store it. Scatter feeding on the other hand is when you scatter food all over your hamster's cage giving them the ability to actually do their natural instinct and go and search for food. This is a great way of feeding your hamsters because it gives them something to keep their mind occupied which stops them from bar chewing most of the time, stops them from climbing their cage and doing inappropriate behaviour inappropriate behaviours in our eyes. The question is, what is better? So with bull feeding, you could end up with your hamster becoming obese um, because you're giving your hamster all this food and it's storing it when you think it has eat it and it's got a large, large supply of food to go through. So it could end up really, 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 really fat and unhealthy. Whereas if you scatter feed your hamster, it could end up not finding all the food that you scatter fed, but it's still eating at a pace. and. One of the worries with scatter feeding is that your hamster won't actually find the food and it will starve to death. But what you need to remember is hamsters are designed to find food. They need to go out and hunt, they need to go out and search for food and forage for food so that they can keep themselves alive. It's a natural instinct that is actually built into their brain. Yeah, no matter what, if you bowl feed your hamster or you scatter feed your hamster, no way is actually wrong. But scatter feeding I lean towards because it does have a lot more benefits. Personally, right now, 
a bowl feed Sonic because I feel like he doesn't eat very much but then one day I could go in and his bowl will still be full, the next day I can go in and his bowl will be empty. So it just depends on the hamster as well. So I would recommend trying both out with your hamster and seeing what one they seem to prefer. So if the food that you scatter or place around about the cage seems to disappear a lot faster than the food that's in the bowl, then your hamster might prefer scatter feeding. Whereas if the food in the bowl disappears a lot faster than the scatter feeding does, your hamster may prefer bowl feeding. The funny thing with hamsters is they all have different personalities so it is just that win and lose situation when you have to play with them and see what they prefer when you're trying out different things. So scatter feeding is better because it does give your hamster the natural instinct to forage for their food. You can also do both. You could give your hamster some food in its bowl and the other half you could scatter feed across the cage and then that way you know they've got a food supply there if they can't find the food in the cage. I'm really, really sweating. Wow. <sighs> okay, so what I'm gonna leave you guys with is do what you think is best for your hamster. If you feel like scatter feeding is better than bowl feeding, then you go ahead and scatter feed. If you feel like bowl feeding is better than scatter feeding, then go ahead and bowl feed. If you like to do both, like me, then go ahead and do both. There is no wrong way, as long as your hamster is still getting food and still getting the nutrition that it needs, then you can do whatever you like. As long as you and your hamster are both happy, that's the answer that you need. So if you want to scatter feed, go ahead and scatter feed. If you want to bowl feed, go ahead and bowl feed. There's no right or wrong way here in order to do it. A lot of people have a lot of different opinions, but the only opinion that actually matters is yours, and that's what makes you a good hamster owner. Um, I do want to say thank you at the end of this video for everyone that has subscribed over the past three weeks when I haven't been active, and to you guys who have been going back and watching my videos, I have seen my watch time go up, and it's crazy because we are nearly at 240,000 minutes, watch time minutes, which means I can start monetizing my videos, which also means that I'm one step closer to making this my full-time job, which would be amazing. I would love to do YouTube full-time. Even part-time would be better because then I would be able to put a lot more effort into my videos and give you guys a lot more content, a lot better content, and definitely follow through with what you guys want to see. So yeah, that is my goal for this year. <laughs> We are in June, so I have another six months to reach that goal. But if I could reach it by the end of this year, it would be absolutely amazing. So if you guys want to help me out, what you can do is go back and watch all my old videos from start to finish, and that'll give me watch time to go with, and it'll boost my watch time hours and get me on YouTube a lot more. So yeah, thank you guys for sticking around. I do appreciate y'all, and if you haven't subscribed to the family yet, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button down there. Give the video a thumbs up as it really does support the channel. I'll see all of you guys next week. Bye.